We showed you what several suburbs are doing with the snow that's been removed, but what about the Chicago crews? Where are they putting snow? Leah Hope is joining us now with that part of the story. Leah, where is it all going? Where is it going? You know, it's a great relief, Cheryl and Ron, getting these main streets and side streets cleared. It's a great relief for a lot of folks. But the snow has to have somewhere to go. Tonight we look at how the city of Chicago plans to dispose of the remnants of the blizzard of 2011. The snow's got to go somewhere. Trucks cart loads of snow to dumping sites around the city. This former location of the Harold Ickes public housing development on South State Street is temporary storage of excess snow. We put him on different sites, uh, uh, different abandoned sites. We are appropriately on city property. Obviously yesterday was the big day for us to get the drive open and work through the course of the actions. And uh, we already in, we've already used some vacant lots to stockpile snow. As the plows clear more city streets, piles of snow are growing, like this one in the Gold Coast on Walton. City officials say the plan is to stockpile snow in various locations and bring in snow melters. The city's melters are not in place yet, but area airports are using their snow melters. We have been melting throughout. We have 10 melters at O'Hare, three at Midway. They're in full use. Today, Chopper 7 HD showed us the O'Hare snow melters in action as they try and clear the airfield and the rest of the property. It's going to be a little while yet for us to again clear all of the necessary sites. We have parking lots, we have a lot of pavement, not only runways, but pavement that supports an airport operation. Now, the city plans to bring in three or four snow melters once that buildup of snow piles up. And by the way, just to compare this with other cities, New York has 36 snow melters. Minneapolis has just one. Boston actually ships its snow to snow farms outside of the city. And Buffalo, that gets all that lake effect snow, they have no snow melters. They just let it pile up. See? So this is how we deal with it. And you know, years ago, you may recall, yeah. they used to dump it in the river. Right. But of course, there are federal regulations right now that they can't do that because of all of the things that, that. maybe mix <laughs> up in the snow that we don't want. In We're the learning so much about how new technology has helped and new machinery has helped because in 67 and 79 and 99, all of this was not available. And I'm sure so. we'll learn a lot from this. Yeah. All right, Leah. That's for the a next good time. Thing. Okay. Because <laughs> no doubt there will be. Right. Thank you.